In this video, we'll take a look at the Cohera 3D Viewer, show you how to load and view your scan data files, how to take measurements, and we'll go over some of the other features found in the application as well. So the first thing we want to do is, after launching the program, is click on the application menu, open Point Cloud. Now I have my first scan already added, and now I will add scans two through five and click open. Immediately, we're presented with this window here, which gives us some options when adding our scans. If you hover your mouse over each, you'll receive some information about each setting. To explain that here briefly, load is going to be how much data we're going to load to the system's RAM. So for example, if you have a lot of scans you want to load in the viewer, but you don't have a lot of RAM, you'll want to drop the amount of data by choosing a higher subsample. So for example, a subsample of 5x5 five five would be 4% of the data. A subsample of 2x2 two two would be 25% of the data. So I'm going to choose 2x2. Two two. And then display would be how much we're adding to the RAM in the graphics card. And we can change that later on as well. I'll leave that set to all and click OK. And down here in the lower left, we'll see a progress bar as the scans are being loaded. Once that is finished, it will say ready. So one of the first things you'll want to do is click view and choose a navigation style. And you can also hover over each of those to kind of explain that briefly or go into the help section and that will show you the keyboard and mouse functions that are needed in order to pan and navigate. So clicking back on the home tab, we have a variety of color options. Color by scan would give each scan a unique color. These scans are colorized. So color as scanned will show the colorized scans. Intensity is hue and then a uniform scan color. Okay, so here they share the same color. I'm going to switch back to color as scanned. Now for the display density, which is being sent to the video card. Okay, so for example, if we choose six by six, see we have a lot less data. And if we go back, say to four by four, now we have more data. But in addition to that, we can also use the spotlight feature. Before we do that, if you click on a point and press C on the keyboard, it will center on that point. See? So we'll center on this box here, and then we can set the spotlight, and that gives us more detail in this particular area. You can turn off the spotlight. Another thing you can do is just after clicking a point, press Z on the keyboard, and that will also enable the spotlight. Currently, my units are in meters, and I'm going to switch that to inches. I'm going to click a point on this ducting here, and we're going to take a measurement. Let me press Z on the keyboard to enable the spotlight. And I'm going to choose a point on this edge here. And we'll set the measurement point one and then come over to the other side. Measurement point two. And along the Y here, we have approximately 11 and a half inches. Now, if we want to take a measurement from here down to the floor, I'll click a point on the floor and change one of these values. 
So the Z here, 92.2 inches, or roughly seven and a half feet. To hide this measurement box, we'll uncheck is visible. The next thing we're going to look at is creating a volume. So similar to the measurement here, we'll start by clicking a point and then set the volume corner point one. Pick a second point and set the volume corner point two. If I click on the volume box, we receive these handles and we can use that to adjust the size of our volume. Let me center, click that again and let's drag that. And then we'll click volume enabled. And now we have a volume for that particular area and we can continue to adjust these if we need to apply volume and that increases the size of our volume. We can hide the volume and then also disable the volume.